Breakfast spot in the Metro opening two new locations for people to go check out. We also have a special on their menu in our Shayla Reeves at Hope Breakfast Bar this morning to tell us all about it. Shayla, good morning. Good morning to you, Heather and AJ. This has been such a rapid expansion for the team at Hope Breakfast Bar. Uh, Brian Ingram yeah. here, the CEO. You actually started this business 20, uh, 2019, yeah. just a few months before the pandemic. You, your wife, yeah. a team of 10 others yeah. saying, hey, we want to bring Hope to breakfast in the morning. Yes, that was it. We wanted to start your day with optimism, have a great breakfast. Uh, we like doing elevated brunch and doing the Disneyland of pancakes. So it was just kind of this great family affair that we had. And in five years, you've grown from that small team to over 500 employees. Yeah. How do you feel being able to see that kind of expansion uh, coming through the pandemic yeah. and transitioning to a community kitchen? Yeah, it's it's been just so amazing, like just to be able to create jobs when you think about the hundreds and hundreds of restaurants that closed during the pandemic, to be able to create jobs and to make a difference in our community has been amazing. And your team transitioned with you during that time. What was that like navigating that period as a new business? Yeah, I mean, we were so blessed. We had so many volunteers and even our team that we tried to pay during the pandemic, they would just give their checks back and say, keep the community kitchen going, keep it going. So for us, this sense of community was amazing. And for you, cooking is your love language, you said. Tell me about when you were a kid. It yeah. was just that thing you could do for hours. It's the only thing I could do. I was a terrible student. My mom <laughs> uh, put me in a culinary program in high school, and she just loved on me and said, keep cooking. She was a single mom for a lot of the time, so getting her to come home and share a meal with me, I'd call her and say, I made this. And she would eat whatever I put in front of her. <laughs> and when people come here, you want them to share their hopes and dreams with you. Yeah, so much of our community give back and how do we pick folks that we can walk with and how we can help them. People will fill out these cards and say, hey, I have a neighbor that's struggling. I have a neighbor that maybe is going to the Mayo Clinic or they have children in Children's Hospital. Uh, this is how we do our give back. And you can write on the back of these cards, yeah. Heather and AJ, exactly what you want them to uh, pray for you about yeah. or what you want them to know and they will uh, keep you in their thoughts here. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk about some of the new items and interesting items on the menu. Before we let you go, we'll, we'll give people a little uh, yeah. a sampling here of Champagne, something new. Champagne, uh, kind of mimosas with cotton candy. Check that out, Heather and AJ. What a way to start your morning, right? <laughs> we're going to take a look at some of the uh, few other offerings on the menu. Brian, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back here in the next half hour. Hey, really quick, Shayla, because Heather had her eye on the, the food, too, as well. What, what's, that, what's that dish in front of you? I think it's for our neighbor. Yeah, that one so right. So this yeah. new dish here, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. It's a newest uh, thing on the menu. It's, it's um, actually like a crawfish bo boil Ooh. for breakfast. It's got lots of eggs, lots of corn, potatoes, very filling. Yes, all of it. That's Amazing. All right, Jailer, we look forward to that thing. Yes. <laughs> To quickly mention for you, Brian is jetting out of here when we're done because he's opening Woodbury today, too. So he does not slow down. He died oh, up open last week he's here. Like, oh, he's go. on the move. He's got to go. We, we see that. <laughs> All right, so let All me right. check with you a little bit later. Thanks. And the Hope Breakfast Bar has a new menu item that they want you to give a try. Yeah, they also have a couple of new locations as well. It's where we find our Shayla Reeves, who is at one of those spots this morning. Shayla, we already saw the cotton candy with champagne. You treated us and you gave us a preview. What was it? Carrot cake Carrot pancakes. Carrot cake pancakes. What kind of frosting was that? Yes. What kind of uh, icing or frosting or yeah. what, what, what topping it's is it? It's a cream cheese maple syrup. So fresh maple syrup, cream cheese, all kind of whipped together. Wow, that's a party in your mouth for it breakfast. It is, right? <laughs> here right now with Brian Ingram. And you have grown so rapidly, your business, yeah. in just five years. Crazy. You've expanded. And when we finish talking to you here in Edina, where are you headed? I'm heading right to Woodbury. Today we're practicing orientation and we open on Wednesday morning. So uh, you've got six locations now you've got another yep. one opening in the north loop coming up soon uh, to see where you started to see where you are how do you feel oh just so blessed and so proud of our amazing team like i get to be the face of our team but these guys are doing all the hard work they're the ones that are showing up day in and day out 
Uh, just so, so proud of them. And talk about um, just getting to now. You opened a business 2019, just a few months before we shut down for the pandemic. Yeah. And you said, hey, we're just going to pivot and yeah. try to see what we can do to help our community. Yeah, about a week before the governor shut down, we just said we got to shut down. I put a post. Uh, it was during all the school closings, and I think we had 10,000 requests by Monday. I told my wife we got to shut down. We got to open as a, a kitchen and do as much as we can for free for as long as we can. And and you helped the community and you said hope is your mission. What does that mean? Yeah, I mean helping other people every day. That's what hope is and that's what we try to do. We've been to Turkey right after the earthquakes. We're in Maui right after the fires. So for us, uh, it's always trying to do, if you're gonna take resources out of community, you better put them back in. And we, sh we talked a little bit about, we've got the cotton candy mimosa here. Yeah. We've got the carrot cake uh, pancakes. What is this dish right here? So these are our new egg boils. We're getting ready to do a, a big menu change. We haven't done that in five years, and we're having a lot of fun with it. You think lobster boil, it's 4th of July week. All of the fun things you can do, uh, we're doing it with an egg boil. It's quite a bit cheaper than doing a lobster boil. <laughs> and for you, cooking has been just your love language. You said yeah. ever since you were a kid, to be able to share your passion with community, what does that mean? Oh, man, it's everything. Cooking for others. We do these charity dinners all the time. I just did one with Frank last week, and we raised $10,000 for the Ordway Theater. Uh, so whenever you can make a difference by doing what you love, Life's pretty good. All right. Thank you so much, Brian. Heather and AJ, I'm going to send it back to you. Yeah. Hey, Shale, we'll try these one, pancakes, yeah. guys. Just for the road, will you do yeah. another uh, mimosa? Cotton candy mimosa. <laughs> that was so oh, cool. yes. Can you show us the mimosa again? Yeah. So, cotton candy, a little Prosecco. For the kids, <laughs> we do it with Sprite. Get them all sugared up, sugar yes. pancakes, and send them home to parents. Yeah. Yeah, what a way to start the morning, guys. Yeah. That is exactly what I was going to see. See, that's messed up. You get the kids all hopped up on sugar, and then yep. you send them with their parents. Sure do. Sure do. <laughs> I could watch that all morning. All right, Chandler Bryan, thank you.